everybody! Today's tutorial is going to be for the headband I'm wearing. And this is a little light bulb. Here's another one. And this is called a slider. And it's by AKA Applique. And it is called a slider because on the back here, you can see there's a, a little slot at each end that you place a headband through. So the headband just, it slides right onto the headband, just like that. Uh, you can also use um, different widths of headbands. You can also use an elastic headband where take a piece of fold over elastic and you can just use a pin to thread it through this, glue the ends together and then hide the ends inside of the slider. And that's good for younger kids who maybe don't want to wear a headband or wouldn't fit them right or they would take it off. Or if that's just your preference to wear an elastic one. The 100th day of school is a way to celebrate the fact that you're 100 days smarter than you were at the beginning of the school year. And then they incorporate it into a lot of math lessons. They teach things like place value and um, just counting up to 100. And this is usually done at the elementary school level. And then the teachers get into it too, which is good about this design is that um, it's not too juvenile. We're going to learn a couple new skills today, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. After you've run the placement stitch, add a piece of felt that covers the entire stitch line. Run the placement stitch for the light bulb. Add your piece of glitter canvas, vinyl, felt, or other non-fraying fabric. Run the tack down stitch. The tool I'm using is called a That Purple Thang and holds the fabric in place while keeping my fingers away. The next step is the 100 embroidery. Run the placement for the socket. Add your glitter canvas, felt, or vinyl. Run a tack down stitch. Remove the hoop from the machine. Trim away the excess fabric from the light bulb and socket. Return the hoop to the machine. Stitch the words days and brighter. Add the decorative stitch that covers the openings for the headband. Remove the hoop from the machine and turn it over. Use tape or a spray adhesive designed for embroidery to attach the back piece of felt. Return the hoop to the machine and stitch the final outline. Remove the project from the hoop. Tear away the stabilizer. Cut out the slider about an eighth of an inch from the seam. Trim any excess thread. Insert a headband through the holes on each end of the slider. Your headband is finished. Thank you for watching.